the incredible engineering of the A10 Warthog. Hello everyone, welcome to the Tech Hand. We're going to explore the engineering behind one of the most iconic aircraft in the United States Air Force. You'll also learn about the A10's ability to fly low and slow, allowing it to provide precision support to ground forces in even the most challenging combat environments. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe. Let us know in the comments that you're subscribed and what you think of this video. We'll apply to you personally. You can also give a thumbs up. Thanks for that. A-10 Warthog the A-10 Warhog, officially known as the Fairchild Republic A-10 Thunderbolt II, is a single-seat twin-engine jet aircraft designed for close air support of ground troops. It was designed and built by Fairchild Republic Company, which is now part of Northrop Grumman in the 1970s. The A-10 is known for its distinctive design, featuring a straight wing, a large fuselage, and two powerful General Electric TF-34 GE-100 turbofan engines. The aircraft's primary weapon is the GAU-8. Avenger rotary cannon, which can fire up to 4,200 rounds per minute and is capable of penetrating the armor of tanks and other armored vehicles. In addition to its cannon, the A-10 can also carry a variety of other weapons, including air-to-ground missiles, bombs, and rockets. The aircraft is heavily armored with titanium plating to protect the pilot and critical components from enemy fire and it has a unique design that allows it to fly low and slow to provide precision support to ground forces. The A-10 has seen extensive service in various conflicts and has proven to be reliable and effective in close air support platforms. It remains in service with the United States Air Force and is widely regarded as one of the most effective aircraft for the mission. It was designed to fulfill. The A-10 Warhog first flew in May 1972 and entered service with the U.S. Air Force in 1977. Since then, it has been used extensively in a variety of conflicts, including the Gulf War, the Iraq War, and the war in Afghanistan, where its ability to provide close air support has proven to be invaluable to ground forces. Despite being originally scheduled for retirement in the 1990s, the A-10 has continued to be used by the U.S. military and remains in service as of 2021. A-10 Warhog's Unique Design Gun First Design The A-10's most prominent feature is its 30mm GAU AA Avenger Rotary Cannon, which is the most powerful gun ever fitted to an aircraft. The cannon is mounted in the nose of the aircraft and is designed to fire shells that are nearly a foot long. The A-10's entire design is based around the gun, with the pilot's cockpit located behind it and the engines mounted high on the fuselage to make room for the gun's enormous ammunition drum. Durability The A-10 is designed to withstand significant damage and continue to fly, making it an effective close air support aircraft for troops in the field. The aircraft is heavily armored with thick titanium armor plates protecting the cockpit and critical systems, as well as redundant hydraulic systems to keep the aircraft flying even if one is damaged. Straight Narrow Wings the A-10's wings are designed to provide excellent maneuverability at low speeds, which is important for a ground attack aircraft that needs to be able to fly low and slow to provide effective support to troops on the ground. The wings are also designed to provide maximum lift for the aircraft's weight, making it possible for the A-10 to take off and land on short, unimproved runways. Twin Engines the A-10 is powered by two General Electric TF-34 turbofan engines, which are mounted high on the fuselage to protect them from ground fire. The engines provide enough power to allow the A-10 to carry a significant weapons load and still maintain a high level of maneuverability. General Electric Engines the twin General Electric GE TF-34 turbofan engines are a critical component of the A-10 Warthog's design, providing both power and maneuverability. The engines are mounted high on the A-10's fuselage, which helps protect them from ground fire and debris, and also helps prevent foreign object damage FOD, during takeoff and landing. The engines produce a combined thrust of around 17,000 pounds, which gives the A-10 the power it needs to carry a significant weapons load fly at high speeds, and maintain a high level of maneuverability. One of the key benefits of the TF-34 engines is their low bypass ratio, which means that a smaller portion of the air that enters the engine is diverted around the core, as compared to high bypass engines used in many commercial airliners. This results in a lower fuel consumption and higher thrust to weight ratio, which is important for a close air support aircraft like the A-10. In addition to providing power, the TF-34 engines also play a critical role in the A-10's maneuverability. The engines are mounted
mounted at an angle to provide a degree of thrust vectoring, which allows the pilot to point the aircraft's nose in different directions without having to physically move the aircraft's wings. This is particularly useful for a ground attack aircraft like the A-10, which needs to be able to make tight turns and quick changes in direction in order to provide effective support to troops on the ground. A-10 Warhog's Paint Schemes the A-10 Warhog has been painted in a variety of paint schemes over the years, depending on the specific mission and operational requirements. Some of the most common paint schemes for the A-10 include Air Superiority Gray. This is a standard gray paint scheme used in the U.S. Air Force for many of its aircraft, including the A-10. The gray color is designed to make the aircraft less visible against the sky, making it more difficult for enemies to target. Euro-1 Camouflage this is a four-color camouflage pattern that was designed for use in Europe during the Cold War. The pattern includes dark green, medium green, light green, and black, and is designed to make the aircraft less visible against trees and other foliage. Arctic Camouflage This is a white and gray camouflage pattern that is designed for use in snowy or icy environments. The white and gray colors help the aircraft blend in with the surrounding snow and ice, making it less visible to enemies. Desert Camouflage this is a tan and brown camouflage pattern that is designed for use in desert environments. The colors help the aircraft blend in with the sand and rocks, making it less visible to enemies. Some A-10s have been painted with more elaborate designs or special markings to commemorate specific events or missions. For example, during the Gulf War, some A-10s were painted with special shark mouth designs to intimidate Iraqi troops, while other A-10s have been painted with special designs to honor fallen comrades or celebrate significant milestones. A-10 can endure natural obstacles. The A-10 Warhog is a highly durable aircraft that is designed to endure natural obstacles that other aircraft may not be able to handle. Sand and Dust The A-10 is often deployed in desert environments where sand and dust can be a problem for other aircraft. However, the A-10's engines are mounted high on the fuselage, which helps protect them from sand and dust ingestion. In addition, the A-10's cockpit is highly armored and sealed against sand and dust, allowing the pilot to fly in harsh conditions. Snow and Ice the A-10 can also operate in snowy and icy conditions. Thanks to its durable design, the aircraft's landing gear is designed to handle rough, unimproved runways, which are often found in cold weather environments. The A-10's engines also have an inlet anti-ice system to prevent ice buildup, and the cockpit is heated to prevent icing on the canopy. High Winds the A-10 is designed to operate in high winds, which can be a challenge for other aircraft. The A-10's straight wings are designed to provide excellent maneuverability at low speeds, which is useful in high winds. In addition, the A-10's engines are powerful enough to help the aircraft maintain control in strong winds. Thunderstorms The A-10 is designed to handle thunderstorms, which can be a danger to other aircraft. The aircraft is equipped with a lightning protection system to prevent damage from lightning strikes. The A-10's redundant hydraulic systems and rugged landing gear also make it more resistant to turbulence and wind shear, which can be present in thunderstorm. Are you enjoying our video? Before we continue the video, please make sure to click the subscribe button and hit the bell icon. Also, turn on the notifications so you don't miss out on more amazing videos from us. Let's continue to see the incredible engineering of the A-10 Warthog. A-10's Heads-Up Display the A-10 Warhog is equipped with a sophisticated heads-up display, HUD, that provides the pilot with critical information in real time. The HUD is a transparent display that projects important flight data onto the pilot's line of sight, allowing them to quickly and easily monitor key systems and make informed decisions. Flight Instruments The HUD displays critical flight data, such as airspeed, altitude, heading, and attitude. This information allows the pilot to maintain situational awareness and ensure that the aircraft is operating safely and effectively. Weapons Information The HUD displays information about the A-10's weapon systems, including the number of rounds remaining in the 30mm cannon and the status of any missiles or bombs that are being carried. Targeting Information the HUD can also display targeting information, including the location of ground targets and the aiming point for weapon systems. This information is critical for accurate targeting and effective engagement on ground targets. Navigation Information The HUD displays information about the aircraft's location and route of flight, including waypoints, heading, and distance to the next waypoint. This information is important for navigation and mission planning. Sensor Data the HUD can display data from the A-10's various sensors, including radar and infrared systems. This data can help the pilot locate and track targets and avoid threats, such as service-to-air missiles. A-10 Warhog's Gatling gun is large, heavy, and powerful. 
The A-10 Warhog's primary weapon is the GAU 8A Avenger Cannon, which is a 30mm 7-barrel Gatling gun. The gun is mounted in the nose of the aircraft and is capable of firing up to 3,900 rounds per minute. The GAU 8A Avenger Cannon is a powerful and effective weapon that makes the A-10 Warhog a highly capable ground attack aircraft. The gun's high rate of fire and accuracy allow the A-10 to quickly engage ground targets and deliver a large volume of fire. Fire, while its armor-piercing rounds are capable of destroying even heavily armored vehicles. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Let us know in the comments that you're subscribed and what you think of this video. We'll reply to you personally. You can also give a thumbs up. Thanks for that.